CataractCoach.com. I like this baby caps Rexus, but why? Well, it's an intumescent white cataract with a baby Rexus, which, as you know, is going to be the double Rexus technique. I've warned you, when you're doing cataract surgery, you want to avoid that curse of the baby Rexus. We even have a video called Curse of the Baby Rexus way back when from like 2018 cataract coach. So here's a white cataract. Got an anonymous resin who's operating this case. Put a little tripan and blue dye inside there, staying in the lens capsule. Filling the eye with some viscolatic dispersive agent and on the cornea too. Here's making it see a side port. Looks like with an 11 blade. And now getting the Rexus done. Cystotome going in. And so the baby Rexus is part of the double Rexus technique. So the idea is make one small Rexus. It doesn't have to be pretty. It doesn't have to be perfectly centered. It just has to be kind of continuous and intact. And once you get that first Rexus done, well, then you can decompress the capsular bag because it's stable. There's no, there's no edge here that's going to run out. So we're going to complete a baby Rexus. It doesn't matter exactly the size or even the shape, but just make sure it's continuous like this, beautifully done. And then now you can decompress the bag. So here, going in with a Simcoe cannula, which is like a little irrigation and aspiration, to just move that lens nucleus around and decompress the capsular bag much better. You get out that liquefied lens material, that lens cortex, and then now you can nick the capsule here with some scissors and create a large, normal-sized capsular rexus. So here we go. Grabbing that and making it a little bit bigger, spiraling it out. Now, the spiral out technique is a nice way to be able to dial in the exact size you want and also to uh, ensure that it doesn't run out on you. But I think after that decompression with the Simcoe cannula, we're pretty safe here. I don't think it's going to run out anymore. So now getting that Rex is done and then uh, aiming for hopefully about a five millimeter Rexus. And then this case is going to be done with FACO. So a lot of times these white cataracts like this, if there's no brownish tint to it, then oftentimes it's really not that dense. So let's see, going with the FACO probe here, and then there's the, looks like a Sinsky hook in the other hand for some chopping action. And going with the FACO probe, buried in the nucleus, and the chop going there. And you can see the capsule bag is lacking any cortex. So good chop there, and then another chop probably. I like the technique here, chopping with that little Sinsky hook. That works pretty well. And taking this down, now just be careful, that Sinsky hook does have a sharp tip. And so now let's see, rotating the nucleus probably, there we go. So very nice technique here, Certain has some good skills. If you're a resident, wow, that's fantastic. Hey, check out our teaching website, cataractcoach.com. Yeah, you gotta leave YouTube for a second. It'll be well worth your time, I promise you. Free PDF book about cataract surgery, 25 part curriculum series, Iowa Calc series, a free video every day sent to you in your email. You get an email of the day. I got my podcast. Oh my God, the podcast is amazing. You gotta check it out. So here's the rest of the nucleus coming through. Buzz, buzz with the FACO probe. Get those pieces in front of the um, FACO tip. Good job here. Now, maybe this wasn't a resident. This video was sent to me with no name attached to it, and so I assumed it was an anonymous resident. So we'll take this piece down here, and now let's see, making a little bit larger incision there. Okay, Simcoe cannula going in again. Maybe to do a access there through that side port to access some incisional space with the Simcoe. Maybe that's why the incision was enlarged. Let's find out. Yep, that was the answer. Now enlarging the incision even more. Wow, big blade here. So probably going to put in a non-foldable lens. Yep, there's a PMA lens. That's polymethyl methacrylate, non-foldable rigid lens. And put that, get that dialed in in the capsule bag. And this is nice to have the infusion from the Simcoe to keep the eye inflated as you get that lens in. There you go. Went in the bag pretty nicely here. Make sure the other haptic's good. A little bit of cortex remaining. There it is. Get all that out. Patient's going to be pretty happy. So yeah, I don't like a baby Rexus. Except if you're doing the double rexus technique for an intumescent white cataract, then, of course, the first rexus is going to be a baby rexus. That's the whole idea. Beautiful case. Thank you for sharing.